Hello, hello. I'm going to quickly pin the topic. So you all know what we're talking about. How's it going? How is everyone? We've got two fabulous senior doctors joining in today. I'm going to see if I can add them. I seemingly cannot add them. Why is Instagram like this? Okay. Hi. Hello, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing? All good? Very well, ma'am. How are you? All good. <laughs> Dr. Shobha is joining. I'm trying to see. Okay. Hmm. How is it going? How is Agra? Kitni garmi hai wahan pe aajkal? Don't ask. It's so hot and humid. It's really bad. Yahan pe Austin is also very hot. Hamara regularly 40 42 degrees ja raha hai. To mujhe aise Okay, we are at 48 49. <laughs> mujhe ghar ki yaad aa gayi dekh ke. Main dekho ma'am ka join request aaya kya? Abhi to nahi aaya. Okay. Should I so, send you a message? हाँ मैम आई थिंक दैट विल बी गुड इन द मीन वाइल मैं लोगों को बता देती हूँ व्हाट वी गोट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टुडे सो दैट थोड़ा लोगों को आइडिया लग जाए सो गाइस आज हम लोग इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी दोनों में कॉन्वर्सेशन करेंगे सो लॉट पीपल हु डू रिक्वेस्ट कि हिंदी में बात करें आज हम लोग बहुत ही सिंपल सिंपल लैंग्वेज में आपको बताएंगे कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन के बारे में आपने जितने सवाल पूछे थे कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन और सेफ सेक्स के बारे में आज हम उन्हें आंसर करने की कोशिश करेंगे एंड फॉर the expert section you've got two brilliant gynecologists some the people i've looked up to for a very very long time so aapko bahut hi oh ma'am aage aapko bahut hi um scientific or verified correct answers milenge instead of ye jo social media pe normally nonsense milta hai so we have something great to look forward to and i'm trying to find ma'am's request if you can hear me Can you add someone? Oh yeah, I can. Let's see. So, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Am I audible and visible? Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Fine. 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 So, please go ahead, Niharika. So let's start, uh, Tana. All right. All set. Let's go, ma'am. Oh, I'm actually I'm seeing a lot of com uh, comments that are saying please talk in English. So, हम थोड़ा we keep it a little bit mixed because yeah. बहुत हिंदी yeah. speaking audience भी है, बहुत English speaking audience भी है. No, sure, sure. So, but, Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We mix it and uh, do it in both. Yes, yes. Perfect. So, hi everyone. Uh, so today we are here going to be discussing safe sex practices. and why is this so important because we are here not only to prevent those unwanted pregnancies but also to reduce the risk of sexually transmitted diseases and together today all three of us are here to make you all understand that it is high time that we come forward for an open honest conversation on safe sex which is not happening and a conversation which is coming from the right person to all of you so very good evening on a wonderful day and we were discussing it is very hot in agra and it suddenly started raining so the temperature is cooling <laughs> off so thank you tanaya for that and Yay. i am dr <laughs> niharika malhotra from agra and it gives me great pleasure to welcome our senior the brain behind today's session dr shobha madam dr shobha is a goody is a family welfare committee chairperson and she has done tremendous work on contraception and that's why she wanted to come forward on instagram to spread public awareness programs on safe sex practices and contraception and we also roped in, in, in a, of course <laughs> who better than dr cutrus dr tanaya here because we all know how uh, well influenced uh, she is and she has been awarded as the influencer of the year 2020 and she is an internationally trained medical doctor and also writing a book on sexual education so who better than to have her here today and we're going to be discussing some important points on safe sex practices and contraception 
and over to you shobha ma'am to take this ahead yeah wonderful wonderful to be with all of you and um, i think it is really kind of you know a little bit inspiring to see so many young minds wanting to know better about their health especially sexual health which is so complex which is so much more difficult than other aspects of health so i think we will just shoot the questions straight away it goes like this dr tanaya will be the first person to respond and then neharika and i will conclude i think uh, the first query which is i can see is they want to know about the safety of emergency contraceptives so um yeah this is a very common question that a lot of people have kya yeah, emergency contraception hum le sakte hain kitna regularly le sakte hain so if you are struggling with this concept generally emergency contraceptives are safe in an emergency so as long as we restrict them to emergency situations it's great because there's a huge um dose of hormones that comes in with that said there are no studied long term side effects that we know of at the moment with consuming emergency contraception but i will let the experts elaborate so yes as uh, the nurse was saying yes emergency contraceptives are safe but they are only to be used for an emergency you cannot use Correct. them for an everyday contraceptives that you have forgotten your contraceptive pill and you using emergency contraceptives like something every day that should not be done secondly whenever we plan give an emergency contraception we have to understand they do have a small amount of side effects especially like menstrual irregularities nausea vomiting and if you face any side effects i feel you should uh, consult a gynecologist immediately yeah well said niharika well said and uh, you have given very right message tanaya also and uh, i i do encourage all girls to have have a very steady safe method of contraception ongoing but in case you are caught unprepared for any event then of course something is better than nothing and do source uh, your gynecologist for an emergency contraception pill and that will keep you safe till your next period but please only one thing you remember that one dose will protect you against only one act of unprotected sex it is not the entire cycle it covers with that i go on to the next question uh, they do want to know tanaya what is the safety of oral contraceptive pills i think this is your forte you will be able to you know tell them that they are very very safe yeah <laughs> this is my favorite topic because recently i'm reading a book which is called the history of uh, no it's called the birth of uh, birth control pills and it's basically charting ki kitni mushkilon ke baad hum birth control pills ka invention ho paya how many challenges we had to face and how it really links with the liberation of women you know from we have studies to show je main baki logo ko bahut emphatically batana chahti hu that birth control pills have been really revolutionary and helpful for us we have so much data to show that before the invention of birth control pills so many women could not finish education could not go into working so it's so strongly linked with our emancipation as a whole gender as a whole sex so it's so important bahut helpful hai bahut logo ki life badli hai isne and it is safe to have birth control pills as long as you do it in consultation with a doctor please don't buy them straight off the market there are some situations in which we will not give you birth control pills or we will give you another kind of pill another thing that's very important to clarify log birth control pill ko ek cheez samajhte hain ki ye hoti hai birth control pill it's all the same it's like antibiotics there are different hundreds of different kinds of antibiotics the same way there's so many different kinds of birth control pills with different hormones different doses of hormones different um varieties of side effects and different varieties of effectiveness so super safe and um yeah i think oh sorry my voice is not coming in clearly yeah <laughs> no okay. that is what they no. say for me it is clear it's clear okay. uh uh can i just clear. wanted to ask you something here because you know i got a patient today we did a health camp and you know in especially in polycystic ovarian syndrome most of the girls do refuse to accept birth control pills and uh, i want you to touch a little bit about uh, the importance of them instead of going to the other supplements which are available online why is it important that they should take those birth control pills 
दिस इज अ ब्रिलियंट क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग दिस बिकॉज मेरे इनबॉक्स में यही भरा हुआ है कि मेरे डॉक्टर ने मुझे बर्थ कंट्रोल पिल दी है मैं इसको कैसे अवॉइड करूं कौन से ब्रांड का मैं सप्लीमेंट खरीदू सो आई थिंक अनफॉर्चुनेटली देर आर सम कंपनीज दैट आर कैपिटलाइजिंग ऑन दिस एंड दे मेक वेरी वेरी रॉन्ग एडवर्टिजमेंट्स एंड क्लेम्स दैट बर्थ कंट्रोल पिल से आपको कैंसर हो जाएगा या बर्थ कंट्रोल पिल से आपको बहुत नुकसान होएगा और इट विल इफेक्ट योर फ्यूचर फर्टिलिटी ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर इनकरेक्ट बर्थ कंट्रोल पिल्स हैव ग्रेट रिटर्न टू फर्टिलिटी सो वंस यू स्टॉप टेकिंग देम यू विल इमीजिएटली नॉट इमीजिएटली बट लाइक यू विल हैव अ ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्स टू क्विटिंग द पिल्स एंड देन ऑन टॉप ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस द थिंग दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विद पी सी ओ एस एस की जो हमारा हॉर्मोनल इम्बेलेंस होता है पी सी ओ एस में it's it can increase your likelihood of getting cancer of the endometrium which is the inside lining of the uterus the uterus ke jo bhi andar ka section hai uska cancer ka risk badh jata hai with untreated pcos and birth control pills have a really good relationship with reducing this risk so having pills can be super super helpful and i think we need to stop running away from them and run, running away from all the bad marketing that they've got Yeah, you should run, oh yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Nihari, yeah, you should run towards them. You should run towards them. Yeah. Can I, Niharika? Can I take a few questions which have been asked? One, yes, one uh, uh, question is that uh, if if a girl is suffering from UTI, uh, can the partner contract an STI from her? <clears throat> so I wanted to say that that is not true. and uh, there are two different entities. Uh, we will go on to the next question. If a woman is uh, you know something they want to know about mood swings during the perimenopause so th- this is one area where again combined oral contraceptive pills uh, the small uh, dose variety will help there is another question which i want both of you to address is safe sex different from regular sex tania first and then niharika <laughs> Uh, another very important question because so many times we think safe sex is wo wala sex jisse pregnancy na hoye and uh, <laughs> that is different you know uh, one thing we always forget is that condoms and dental dams are supposed to be used in every sexual interaction be it oral sex be it anal sex be it penis and vagina sex no matter what kind of sexual intercourse you are having you need to be using a thin layer of protection between your genitals if you're not trying to get pregnant if you're trying to get pregnant that's a different situation um and the reason is because sexually transmitted infections are very very common so much so that some estimates say that 80% of all people have suffered from some kind of sti at some point so um it's great to be using some protection and that protection makes your act of sex safe so safe sex is not the kind of sex that protects you from pregnancy safe sex is the sex that protects you from sexually transmitted infections या सो सिंपल वर्ड्स में अगर कहेंगे तो देर इज अ डिफरेंस रेगुलर सेक्स में आप अगर कॉन्डम यूज कर रहे हैं सो इट इज कॉल्ड अ सेफ सेक्स बिकॉज कॉन्डम विल प्रिवेंट प्रेगनेंसी एज वेल एज सेक्शुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिजीजेस एंड दैट्स कॉल्ड अ सेफ सेक्स एंड दैट्स वाई वी एज ऑल डॉक्टर्स प्रमोट यूजिंग अ कॉन्डम बिकॉज दैट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मेथड फॉर कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन प्लस प्रिवेंशन ऑफ इन्फेक्शन वेरी लो रिस्क of pregnancy like oral contraceptive pill or a device inside the uterus or an injection every 3 months or an implant etc we go on to some more questions there is a, a very strong appeal to no metriosis so first tanaya and then neharika yeah oh wow aapne jaise hi bola waisi ek question bhi aa gaya would want to know more about endometriosis um okay so i'll quickly grab you see my uterus model i think that will be helpful लॉन्ग कैनल 
एंड ये यूट्रस होता है जिसको हम हिंदी में बच्चे दानी भी बोलते हैं सो ऑन द इन साइड ऑफ द यूट्रस वी गॉट अ लाइनिंग you know like the inside skin of the uterus think of it like that that's called the endometrium and sometimes this tissue or tissue similar to this can grow inside other parts of the body so normally yahan pe usko camp lagana hai aur wo decide karta hai nahi main yahan nahi main kahin aur camp lagaunga <laughs> and what happens is that because of this every time you have a period <laughs> wo camp jahan bhi laga ho period har jagah hona hai so because of that you are bleeding in places where your blood can't come out and that blood can irritate your insides that can cause issues can cause severe menstrual pain can cause issues with fertility to bahut sare iske side effects ho sakte side effects bolenge ya symptoms ho sakte hain and it's a very very uh, unfortunately common situation aur bahut samay lagta hai endometriosis diagnose hone mein the world statistic is ki on an average it takes you 7 years to get diagnosed with endometriosis so yeah Just like to add here that agar aapki family history mein kisi ko endometriosis hai, then I think you should also get yourself checked because it has shown ki agar aapki mother ko ya sister ko endometriosis hai, to aapko zada chances hai endometriosis hone ke. Question bear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, one more question uh, that uh, you know a person is suffering from sexually transmitted infection. That's very interesting actually. We must tell them. Yeah. question i think my connection should get better from this point forward but this is a great yeah. question because yeah. most stis have no symptoms so you can be walking around with a bomb inside your pants and not know about it which is why it's so important <laughs> to get tested and so important to use protection correct so very minor yeah, symptoms sometimes you'll get you know sometimes you'll get very minimal amount of unusual discharge even recurrent uh, urinary tract infections are a sign so if you have pain during passing urine or itching uh, during that time and even some people do get um, spotting intermenstrual spotting matlab periods ke baad bhi 10 12 din ke baad you get a little bit of bleeding or spotting that can also tell you ki you might have some infection so min- very uh, subtle signs uh, so that's why it's so important that if you feel that there is something wrong with your body just go to the doctor and get yourself checked yes very important to get checked in time very important um i think shobha ma'am your connection is having some abortion. issues after an abortion she has not yet attained period what do you have to say to her Ma'am, I couldn't hear your question. After abortion, periods are not even. Hello. Ma'am, your question is over. You couldn't hear me. Ah, no, ma'am. Ma'am. after abortion, returned. No. Not returned. Okay. Have returned or not returned? I mean, is it audible now? Now is is it audible? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ha. Huh. After abortion, periods have not yet returned. Yeah. This could be a whole variety of things which would require a more specific investigation. So, uh, yeah. for people that are asking questions, I do recommend that if you have a very specific to your own situation kind of question, then you talk to your doctor about it. Because um, for us to give general advice on this is going to be quite complicated. <laughs> Yeah so uh, as yeah, I said here you know most of the times whenever you get an abortion you would don't get periods on those dates which you had your periods so thoda sa delay hota hai so approximately we say it's 40 to 45 days after an abortion your periods should come and if they haven't come after one and a half months after your abortion then maybe you have to get it checked because it can be a lot of things commonest reason is uh, एडिजन्स इन द यूट्रस क्योंकि जब हम डी एन सी करते हैं या अबॉर्शन की पिल्स देते हैं तो यूट्रस में इन्फेक्शन हो जाता है जिसकी वजह से जो अभी तनया ने हमें डायग्राम दिखाया था लाइनिंग चिपक जाती है यूट्रस की दोनों एंड एंडोमेट्रियम ग्रो नहीं करता है एंड दैट्स हाउ पीरियड्स नहीं आते हैं सो दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी वन कॉज यस मैम या निहारिका सो लेट मी कम्प्लीट दट आंसर प्लीज बी केयरफुल पोस्ट अबॉर्शन टू है sometimes the abortion pills do not work and the pregnancy continues that means there is failure of the method that is number 1 number 
as nihari there could be some impact on the health of the uterus number 3 number 3 if a woman is breastfeeding at the time of the abortion uh, as is very common which happens in the first year after birth the lactational induced amenorrhea can be there and number 4 very very importantly there can be another pregnancy so please please be aware that post abortal contraception is of utmost importance so whenever you seek abortion care please also seek contraception care along with that and i am sure that uh, the benefit is very very huge in terms of prevention of the pregnancy happening again and for you to require an abortion again because repeated abortions are not at all safe okay that concludes so one of the questions is best contraceptives for the newly weds best contraceptive is for the unmarried both you take together yes this is a very common question bahut bar mere ko log email karte hain bahut bar mere ko log dm karte hain asking about this so again this is something that requires a consultation with your doctor it depends on when you want to plan your pregnancy it depends on what medical issues you and your partner might have so generally agar bahut dimag nahi lagana hai to condoms are simple condoms are safe <laughs> sasta matta tikau but yes. if you do want to plan for something longer and if you do want to uh, you know delay your pregnancy for a while then you can definitely sit down with your doctor depending on what your requirements are how much you want to spend what alag alag options hote hain aapke uh, if you have any other healthcare conditions if you have excessive bleeding then the doctor can recommend you something if you have no such issues and you can remember to take a pill the doctor can recommend you a pill you can get an implant you can get an injectable so lots of different varieties and best to speak to your doctor about it for sure yani harika yeah so i also feel that you know the most effective and the safest methods are condoms and in my list of uh, uh, contraception which i advise i commonly advise first is condoms then second comes oral contraceptive pills third we can go to uh, contraceptive injections and fourth we can go to intrauterine devices and that's how i start counseling any patient who comes to me correct correct there is a good basket of choice so i wanted to give the concluding message on this that women who have not yet had children or women who are not yet married can be offered the same basket of choice of contraceptives yes. as other women there is absolutely no difference all methods are safe for all women and tanya and neharika both of them have already brought out the fine tuning of which contraception for which woman the tailoring part of it is best done by your doctor so first at least for one consultation you must follow with the gynecologist after that it's possible that you can continue on your own so having said that there is another one Uh, which asks about uh, hormonal intrauterine devices in general intrauterine devices is the insertion painful is it effective etc etc please tell um insertion yeah. can be painful for some people kuch log ko bilkul pata nahi chalta hai kuch log ko bahut dard hota hai so it's a very subjective situation um i do know that some doctors do offer thoda sa local anesthetic aise halka sa cotton se chhua de this is a common practice in england mujhe india ka to nahi pata hamare yahan offer hota hai i don't know about the rest of the country but um basically intrauterine device mein kya hota hai let's see what do i have over here okay this is the uterus once again and yahan pe Let's see. Um, there's a device. I'm going to use a nail cutter to demonstrate. <laughs> Perfect. So it's shaped exactly like that, and its jo arms होते हैं वो flexible होते हैं. So they can move yes. like this. So when you're inserting it, ऐसा नहीं है कि हम ऐसी कोई you know T-shaped device ऐसे घुसा देते हैं. When we insert it, वो fold हो जाता है. तो बहुत पतला बन जाता है. Like if you see an IUD, you'll be surprised. Uh, what I'll do is on my stories, I'll share a picture of an IUD जिसमें मैंने हाथ में पकड़ी है. इतनी बड़ी होती है. बहुत छोटी सी होती है. And because mm-hmm. arms उसके fold हो जाते हैं, वो दर्द नहीं होता है. And how it works is that it sits inside the uterus like this, and it's a two-three काम हो जाते हैं. Depending on what you're getting, you can get a copper. Sorry, are you speaking specifically about hormonal devices? Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Okay. Anything. Mm. so if you're using a hormonal device it can also have a great side effect ki aapki bleeding kam kar sakta hai aapke fibroids ka size kam kar sakta hai if you're using a regular copper device to koi hormones ke jin logo ka hormones se side effects hote hain wo nahi hote hain but you also get contraceptions you're not going to get pregnant excellent 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 i think with that we shall move on the only worry niharika do you want to allay the fears about excessive bleeding etc dear 
about copper iodine ma'am very rarely uh, you know this uh, uh, copper tea or an iud can cause uh, excessive bleeding or intermenstrual spotting तो जब भी हम कोई फॉरेन बॉडी आपकी यूट्रस में डालते हैं उसे एक्सेप्ट करने में टाइम लगता है एंड उसका एक्शन भी इमिजिएट नहीं होता सो यूजुअली जब आपको कॉपर्टी डाला जाता है नाउ द रीसेंट प्रैक्टिस की वी गिव यू सम हॉर्मोनल माइल्ड हॉर्मोनल ट्रीटमेंट विद इट फॉर दैट वन मंथ सो दैट यू डोंट गेट दो साइड इफेक्ट विद द कॉपर्टी और एन आई यू डी विच इज है बॉडी एक्सेप्ट इट इजिली so it's um, easily sorry, easily dealt think, with yeah yeah and one Bolo. thing that i think is important to add also here is that hormonal uh, sorry any iud's can give you protection for a long time and you can also get it out whenever you like between 3 years to some you can even get for 10 years of us mein milta india mein excellent kitna, point yeah 10 years bahut yeah. bahut ach very good very good uh, addition that uh, that it is a long acting stuff and it is reversible it is long acting and reversible so when you long periods of time 3 years 5 years 10 years don't have babies and the moment you remove you can have your baby so then i think uh, tanaya and neharika one word answer can unmarried girls can young girls can women who have not yet born any child can they be provided intrauterine device yes or yes, no ma'am. yes ma'am yes ma'am we'll go yeah good that's good uh, somebody asked about <laughs> long term effect of contraception what do you say is there any long term effect adverse effect or aisa kuch hota hai kya taniya first kaun sa use kar rahe hain itne type ke you can just generally tell one or two that should be fine yeah i mean some yeah there's always side effects to everything that we use but i would say that the bigger protection is always there it protects you from certain things you wouldn't want um things can be for pills you can have some people experience um, i don't know mood swings purani generations mein weight gain ki problem thi nayi generations mein itni nahi hai ye problem um with iud's as ma'am mentioned kuch logo ko intermenstrual yani periods ke beech mein bleeding ho sakti hai with implant um i don't know the insertion can be painful there, there's a whole variety of uh, Side effects one can experience. So, ma'am, very yeah, rare. Think, well, uh, yeah, very mm-hmm. rare long term birth control pill. I think logo ko kyu itna dar hai because jo pehle birth control pills aati thi, wo high dose ki aati thi, and tab unke saath association hota tha ki agar aap bahut time tak lenge to aapko heart attacks ho jayenge, aapko cancer ho jayega. But I just want to tell people here ki ab jo hamare pas birth control pills aari hai, they are extremely safe. and they do not have these long term side effects and they can be taken for many years altogether without any long term effect and uh, secondly when we are yeah. talking about intrauterine devices a common long term effect is sometimes these devices uh, have a risk of infections so recurrent vaginal infections are commonly seen with iud's uh, i just wanted to say in harika that commonly when we talk of infections with intrauterine devices they will happen at the time of insertion following that you know we can't relate infections to devices yeah. in general yeah and it is mainly because of their practices of sex not because of the device but yes as you said if a woman is having an ongoing infection at the time of insertion definitely the infection is going to give more trouble yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, to summarize this answer both of you i think have brought out point well, but the long term benefits of contraceptives far 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 outweigh the risks of long term risks uh, which are very negligible and are actually um, please understand that all these contraceptives have gone through phase 3 trials in who on adequate number of subjects and therefore the safety is well established provided we fine tune the prescription so the doctor's input is necessary there is one question a, a lady is very concerned that post abortion she has not yet had periods and she has tested for pregnancy and it is negative so she is very concerned about it can we do something for her uh, though this is not a clinical forum but even then can be reassure her or say something yeah ma'am i would be very of doing that because fir sare queries yahi aane lagenge ki mere sath ye situation hai i know i know i know. Uh, we can just reassure that we can wait it out or when yeah. we see the doctor again and take a prescription to induce a period no harm yes. in that i don't think it is a major problem for her okay then there is one very sensitive question i think um, a gentleman wants to know if the 
partner is pregnant is it safe to have sex tania this is completely yours <laughs> आपकी प्लेसेंटा यानी की जो ऑर्गन होता है जो आपकी प्रेगनेंसी के को नरिशमेंट प्रोवाइड करता है अगर वो उसकी पोजिशन सही है Uh, वो आपके डॉक्टर आपको बता पाएंगे अगर आपके मल्टीपल प्रेगनेंसी नहीं है यानी एक ही बेबी है अंदर दो बेबीज नहीं है दो से ज्यादा बेबीज नहीं है तो दीज वुड बी द कॉमन सिचुएशन जहां हम अवॉइड करेंगे बिकॉज कॉम्प्लिकेशन हो सकते हैं बट ओवरऑल इन जनरल एज लॉन्ग एज इट्स नॉट अ हाई रिस्क प्रेगनेंसी प्लीज फील फ्यू टू हैव एज मच सक्सेस यू वॉन्ट मैसेज वेल गिवन आई थिंक वी आर कमिंग coming towards the end of the question sessions and i think our time is also getting to a close and there are logical questions and which may not be very productive to address them uh, there is a lot of uh, concern about um, i think irritation in the vaginal area maybe just one message can be given and uh, there is one question on is it safe to take the i pill on a regular monthly basis i think this particular uh, uh, audience has not joined in the beginning when neharika very clearly told that it cannot be used regularly so we shall just stick to the first one where there are a lot of questions on vaginal irritation and i think both of you can address that and we'll look towards closure yes i think a very important concern here is so many times log vulva aur vagina ke beech ka difference nahi batate नहीं सीखे हैं तो बता नहीं पाते हैं सो जस्ट फॉर एवरी वन दैट्स वॉचिंग वॉट यू सी बिटवीन योर लेग्स वॉट द पार्ट ऑफ योर बॉडी दैट टचेज योर क्लोथ दैट्स द वल्व सो इफ यू हैविंग इचिंग हियर इट कैन बी फॉर अ होल अदर वेराइटी ऑफ रीजन एंड द वजाइना इज I mean, if I were to insert my finger here, the thing on the inside, this is the vagina. So if you're having um, itching or irritation here that could be for a different variety of reasons so um, yeah generally vaginal itching infection se ho sakti hai vulval itching clothing ke material se bhi ho sakti hai shaving ki wajah se bhi ho sakti hai sti ki wajah se bhi ho sakti hai bahut sare reasons hote hain correct correct yeah 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 there are there are a lot of reasons lot of reasons what do you say niarika any message you yes. want to give ma'am uh, yes multiple reasons was they can also be another reason that they are allergic to the condom they are using so that's just something which uh, they have to keep in mind so if they are using some special condoms you know those uh, scented ones or sometimes people do get uh, allergies because of that and that's why recurrent itching happens yeah agree okay, okay. is it possible due to the pads also yes ma'am definitely Correct. even correct. those uh, sanitary pads if they you know don't change your pads every 3 to 4 hours then you can get recurrent um, itching and rashes and the type of if, if the synthetic ones you know it's better all yeah. is to yeah. stick to the cotton cotton absorbent ones rather than the other thing uh, the yes. last message about this i wanted to share was uh, as tania very rightly pointed out the causes can be many and any symptom which is persisting should be looked at by the gynecologist once because kindly remember one thing uh, a very important message we want to give you that gynecologists primarily deal with only one part of the body you know we don't look at the heart or the brain or the lungs or eyes or anything we deal only with the vulva vagina uterus tubes and ovaries so any concern with that you know you need to come you need to kind of very very open about it with us do not hesitate so remove that inhibition for checking out with a gynecologist i think that is a first step you take towards your reproductive health towards your sexual well being so do come and uh, check yourself out itching irritation one of the don'ts is avoid a lot of uh, epilation techniques like uh, sometimes you know those epilation creams are harmful uh, the pubic stone sometimes is harmful so please be very gentle we often tell women that the vulval skin is more delicate than the skin on your face please remember that it is all 10 times more sensitive because it's a very richly innervated area richly innervated much more than any other part of the body 
so smallest of problems will lead to lot of symptoms you perceive it more please uh, see that you do not use cosmetics or uh, hair removal techniques too much and always consult the whenever you are using any product in that area that's the message i wanted to give yeah. you and since we are on that note i think very important to remember that the skin of the vulva is commonly more dark than the rest of your body isko yeah. lighten karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai ye lightening cream not le lightening cream not only scam hoti hai but it can be very dangerous for you uh, koi iski deep pigmentation cream ki zarurat nahi hai and if you want to get rid of your hair the best method is usually trimming because um, yeah like it's less invasive kam side effects hote hain kam risks hote hain yeah Uh, i'll just take ma'am two questions because um, kritika here has asked uh, two very interesting questions and i think then you should take this one that if iud can stop sperms from entering the uterus how does the blood come out during menstruation <laughs> i think she has a point you know. <laughs> just show that image again and just explain because i have uh, a different <laughs> model for this this may fallopian yeah, tube but like the topic which i wanted to take ahead and also she is asking that <laughs> if i'm pregnant can i use a natural methods for abortion like papaya and everything okay, okay very i wish question. it was that easy i wish yes. it was that easy right isme tube samajh mein aa rahi hai ki dusra nikal lo ha size mein do tubes hai acha usme theek hai theek hai usme karte hain um So your uterus has got yeah. two little things on the side that hang yeah. out. ये ovary होती है. This is where you. This is like your egg production factory. Think of it like that. And ये एक रास्ता होता है जो आपको factory में ले जाता है. So how a pregnancy happens is that when sperm enter, the sperm are left in the vagina. They enter the uterus, and IUD may not necessarily stop the sperm from entering. क्या होगा कि यहाँ पे जो इंटरक्शन होता है वो इस इंटरक्शन के एरिया को ब्लॉक करेगा सो प्रेगनेंसी जिस गली में वो मिल रहे हैं वो गली हमने बंद कर दिया so that is one thing that the uh, iud can do or the other thing it can do is it can change the inside lining of the uterus usko ya to thin kar sakta hai us area ko bada toxic bana sakta hai ki agar pregnancy ho bhi jaye to wo implant na ho that's how it protecting you from a pregnancy with it's it's not blocking off the cervix which is the end point of the uterus jahan se sab kuch nikal raha hai so it's not going to affect how yeah. the menstrual blood is coming out but it can stop you from getting pregnant and that's a brilliant question i'm glad that was asked <laughs> yeah and the next I one think, is uh, natural method yeah. for abortion we'll just take that and because two people have asked that and then we'll okay. just finish yes so do yes, you think yes, natural yeah. methods of abortion work no <laughs> let's so nothing work no pineapple no papaya please do not try anything don't nothing insert works. anything in your body without consulting your gynecologist these yeah, things correct. do not work and they'll just cause infections and they are very harmful very harmful for yeah. health and abortion is a is actually a, a legal procedure almost medical legal procedure it has to be done under statutory requirement of the place and the doctor and documentation so please do not attempt anything on your own safe abortion will keep you safe so please uh, avail safe abortion this never attempt anything on your own and please do not hesitate to take help do not hesitate to take help okay i think we are done for today <laughs> okay Fantastic. okay niharika yeah thank so, you tanaya it I'm was lovely being I'm with you glad thank you so much i'm glad we had this conversation here ma'am and i think we should uh, you know do this on regular basis because the questions which have come up we should take them again especially on long term use of oral contraception and even polycystic ovarian syndrome is something which has to be touched regularly because uske bare mein itni confusion hai especially on instagram people are talking left right center on polycystic ovarian syndrome and i don't think <laughs> you should believe on everything you listen to on instagram please yeah. listen to verified yeah. people only and those yeah. trust your doctor that's the first thing you should do in any conversation which is happening anywhere uh tanaya did you record this you, i'm sorry somebody has asked this question a few times last time requesting you to check 
the best way to see if you're pregnant please get a pregnancy test that's it need me for the eight of the bad pregnancy test kare from bad yes ma'am sorry uh, did you record this do you record this ah uh, yes ma'am so it will get saved dm mai apni stories pe uh, share yeah. bhi kar dungi so yeah no i just wanted to give a message to all the audience that uh, Once it is saved, then Tanya will share it to us, and we'll get it uploaded by our team to the Ask Tanu um, Facebook page. The Ask Tanu Facebook page. Uh, Tanya, please help us to publish the Ask Tanu Facebook page, and uh, please upload your videos there. So, uh, isn't it, um, uh, Niharika? That should be the way yes, forward. Sir. And any questions which come there, we will also be happy. But yes, our single point of connect today was Tanya. and we must thank her for bringing in so many lovely people uh, today and for interaction thank you so much yeah. and thanks priyanka for uh, thank you, uh, you know much. stitching us all together welcome. thank you <laughs> thank you you can thank continue. you everyone then i last word from you have safe sex <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> Hello, #hashtag safe sex have a good night okay Okay, okay everyone bye. Good, night. bye bye good night mm-hmm.